How do you do? How do you do? How are you? Are you practicing human speech? I'm about to talk to Mr. Necklace McLancerson, and I want to make sure that I come across warmly. Hi! Hi there! Hello! What do you want? Can I maybe go up the stairs? Oh yeah, come on up, come on up, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, really? Really? That was... Yeah, yeah, go for it. Let's see what happens. Oh, you're... Turn it on! Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You, you can come through. <laughs> they really scared me, though. I get that all the time, but you, just feel free. Are you sure? Can I really come up this time? Because I feel like you're just going to do it again, and I'm going to... No, no, no. You're on the list. You, what's my name? Uh, Hunter. Oh, damn it. That is my name. Okay, I'm fine. I... The list of people not allowed to come up the stairs. <laughs> God, why are you so mean? Just a big jest. There's a, see that torch over there? If you go light it, then you can come through. That torch right there. I just, I really feel like you are going to do it a third time. Okay, we, we good? Yep, now you can turn around and go away. I just didn't want to go do that myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the worst, you guy. Oh, what a lovely day. Now my torch is lit and I didn't even have to walk over there. Ah! I will stab you. Okay. Usually when they have a guard guard doing that, there's two of them so they can cross the lights. Like just the one. Yeah, like, no, you so just the one. Just you can just walk up. around him. Like he's not uh, blocking the whole thing. My Lance's dicks. It's bred into us. So many questions, reservations, and horrifying revelations at that notion. Is it about the bread? Yes, it is chiefly about the bread. Hey, Ganesa. That's me. You're always on the ball, aren't you? Yep, bounce it away. It's my circus act. I need you to draw away and hunt it. I'll do that. I'll draw it up. I'll give it a lovely picture. It'll distract the monster. Isn't that Guildmarm's job? Well, you know, been learning. Team operation. I guess we had some downtime between uh, low and high rank when we had to wait for the expansion because we're playing this at a normal time and not years <laughs> after the fact. A legendary menace that some folks claim was the reason monster hunting first started. Bloody hell. God, they really are playing up the legend of this monster. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a really good, cool monster. And I love it. And I'm glad Thank it's you. in this edition of Hunting Monsters. But my word. What's your word? Um, instantaneously. I thought there'd be more build-up, but it just happened so fast. <laughs> Why does it look like that? This picture looks like it's a me. <laughs> like the Wii people. Yes, it really does. Let's go with the battle plan just one more time. You're just not going to be part of it. Like, this this is just text boxes. It's all just text boxes, man. No, they're, they're a part of it. They're going to be out helping the master of defense. Everything's going to be peachy watcher. Ketcher and peach sound nothing alike. It doesn't make any sense, Aiden. You're not going to stop him at this point. It's, it's baked into his human existence. Like a bread. Do you do what I do at the start of the quest on the on this map? What, what, which is which is what? what Consume is? two cool drinks in a row so you can go back to five by taking the supplies. Uh, yes, when I bring five, but this time I didn't bring five, so I just took them. Oh, well, I wish you luck. <laughs> so anyway, instantaneously is the best word because the length of the word is massive, but the word itself means literally the littlest amount of time possible before something happens, and I find it very pleasing in its contradiction. That's cool. I yeah. like flabbergasted. No, I like that because the way when you say flabbergasted, all I can imagine is flabbergasted. You know, like the, that kind of. Yeah, I mean, it also sort of sounds like a really weird ghost Pokemon. I think you say a really weird fish, but I can see ghost Pokemon too. Really weird fish. Oh, look! It's an Abstros and a Gendrome and a Genprey. They've all come to play. Look at them eating that little guy. <laughs> he's standing on him. He's riding him. It's Monster Hunter stories. Abstros is just like, oh, this couldn't get worse. This is awful. Where are my other two so I can form my defensive triangle? <laughs> Oh! Well, I mean, that's one way to stop it. Damn! I like he's just like, nobody hurts Apsaros but me. <laughs> Herbivores stick together! <laughs> In like a herd, you've heard of it? <laughs> Herds, you heard? Oh, he's so cool. He is great. Anyone who thinks that Monoblos is not superior to Diablos is uh, having having a banana. Is there a banana person? Oh, yes, they're high on potassium. No, but for realsies, Monoblos is just better than Diablos. There's no, it, like, he looks cooler, he's more funner. He is more funner. It's a real crime that he got, like, sidelined for Diablos through most of the major monster Pretty hunters. Pretty much every one of them, yeah. They are very similar, so I really want Monoblos to get brought back. Oh, also, behold, Monoblos, the offline-only monster in for you. I 
is he? That's sort of sad. Yeah, it is. It is, isn't it? That's another type of sidelining, really. It is another type that's like half lining. But yeah, imagine a like Monster Hunter 6 Monobloss that actually has given a distinct and unique moveset compared to the Ablos, and then they can yeah, both exist in tandem, you know, have their things that they're okay, good that, at. Okay, that's, the, that's too far. No, because you can really distinct... Like, Lunastra used to just be Blue Teostra. Pointless, identical, yeah. except for the color and a slight shape change. So, do a Lunastra to Teostra, but Monobloss to Diablos. Have them similar, but very distinctly I different and worth cool. having both. Yeah, exactly. And then you could have Di Monobloss and Diablos have a bond attack. That'd be crazy. Yep, that might be too much. <laughs> I don't want to fight both of them at the same time. Don't be ridiculous. Just like Lucky Gods and spinning around like the Ramboros style together. <laughs> Oh my god, the double Durambaros bond attack! Yeah, the double Durambaros bond! Lock tails and just spin! Just, just, it's just one of them spinning while the other one just gets used as like a, like a, like an object of destruction. <laughs> Dude, imagine- It's like a, fl it's like a flail! Yeah! Imagine Durambaros' kinship uh, animation. If he ever got one. Don't, don't remind me that Durambaros <laughs> was weirdly cut out of stories while being in stories. I know! Incredible his over the top kinship attack would be. It would be great. It would be so good. And it's not there. Oh, he's gonna yell. I love the touch that the yells count as sonic bomb effects on the local Cephalos. Okay, I'm just having Cephalos just flinging around me. It should be a hard and fast rule that if you're gonna get hip checked and you roll yeah. like towards the monster, the opposite like yep. oh, angle, yeah. no, I, I that agree you with avoid that. the hip check. It's infuriating. I do hate that, like, the entirety of the body just like, counts. Like, it's just, it's just the... Is that a K Kirin? Oh, no, it's not a K I thought a Kirin had invaded! It's, it's just a not, glowing no. white and blue bug! I thought it was a slither of Kirin impressive. main! I was like, what the fuck? The best Kirin location. We're in a desert! <laughs> I told you he was on to us! Oh, no. The Enrage of Monobloss yeah. and Diablos, where they just go still, do a little scrape with their foot, and like angry black smoke, it feels yeah. like the most, oh, I've made a huge mistake, <laughs> Enrage. <laughs> like, it's such an intimidating. Why have I done this? Like, you can feel how angry they are. Like, most monsters just kind of yell. It's like, okay, yeah, all right, here we go, Enrage. <laughs> but with them, it's like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. Like, oh god, I shouldn't have done that. And then the flush red plates on the Monobloss head. It's just better than Diablos. And the thing is, He's I love Diablos. I really do. I have nothing against Diablos. But Monobloss, everyone knows one horn is cooler than two horn. One horn says, I don't need two horn. I'm cool enough. Two horn says, I'm trying too hard. I think it depends on the situation. Sometimes two horns is important. What about three horns? That's too much. Unless you're a Triceratops. And then it's kind of the whole raison d'etre. Yeah, it's, it's sort of ex expected. Because otherwise, like, what are you? I'd say his digging is far less annoying than Diablo's. It is notably different type of digging. Yeah, but I like that. He's much actually fightier. I, I, I know. I, I wasn't saying it was a bad thing. <laughs> okay, good. Just wanna, just wanted to, you know, get in there and preempt that just in case you were about to have, have the audacity. <laughs> I want to dig in time. I do like that when he digs, he basically targets where you are when he can see you. So if you just move after he started digging, you're pretty much good. I broke his horn! I wasn't good after doing what I just said. I was, in fact, not good. Yeah, I'd like to retract my previous observation. It has worked for me every time until that one. He's a bit hard to get orange buff on, because it's his underside, but his legs are so thick that I often just get white instead. I feel like orange buff seems to be your, your bane. It entirely depends on the monster. They have different buffs in different places. Wow, man. I'm learning so much about Insect Lave. <laughs> yeah, what, what body parts for you would give each of the colors? Well, I'd have to say, fists are probably red. That just sort of makes sense for a human. Uh, I don't know if face would be red, too. It might be. You could consider that because we eat things with our face. I guess legs um, is white, buff. Legs is white. You could argue that arms, aside from the hands, is white as well. And then I guess torso would be would be uh, orange. You need yeah, a green okay. somewhere, though. Where do we green? That's usually the tail. Crotch. No, that's a red buff, actually, in hindsight. <laughs> I wish that we'd fought a monoblos before we fought a daimyo, so it just looked like it was the same monoblos. <laughs> One day, I, I feel like they're going to add a Monoblos variant that's like twice the size for no particular reason, and that'll be the explanation of Daimyo's Monoblos shell. And it looks weirdly skeletal. Like, it's not actually, it turns out, like, rotted so much as it's just a terrifyingly, like, undead-looking Monoblos version. It's a Fluvia Monoblos. Ooh, mine's limpy! The Cephalos water blight is actually ruining me. I recommend killing them all. I would love to. I would love it if all of them 
we're dead. That can be arranged. Oh, this one might Isn't be. Isn't that a... what hunt-a-thons are for? Also, lore-wise, every, every quest is like, we need to kill this one specific monster for a specific reason, but we don't overhunt things because that would be bad. But also, hunt-a-thons. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes. Hunt as many as you want for as long as you want. Sometimes you need. You died! You literally died for that, you dumbass mother! Oh! That, that does seem like how they work. It's just happy little git smile in death, like, <laughs> worth it. I do love that uh, Monoblos wings give white buff, even though clearly not used for now movement. Now I shall slide to the left. I mean, they're a little bit. They power them out of, like, pitfall traps. You know what I can see, actually? Like, what? if they ever went, like, really far out of left field with the whole thing, is um Monoblos and Diablos as, like, uh the pseudo-wyverns, like, as in, like, a... Uh, either Tigrex style or even to go as far as like a Cantor and Eucanlos, because they don't use their wings. So eventually evolution would just make them go that way, right? Logically? Yeah, that would yeah, that would be really cool. Like I've always said, I will kill him with a wake up hit as I will. I do often hear you sing that. You are correct. Exactly. I have always said that a world in which Monoblos and Diablos were invented post Tigrex, they just would be pseudo wyverns. They probably would be, yeah. Like, all that prevented it is that there just was only flying wyverns. They wanted a ground based digger, so, you know, they had limited. Well, I mean, pseudo wyverns are flying wyverns still. So, yeah, yeah, of know. course. But they just wanted a ground based digger, and they just had the classic Rathalos shape to work with, so they did their best. I mean, what about. What, why not? Why not? I mean, Cephadrome is basically what you just described, so. Oh, mine's dead! Done it. <laughs> you so such an, I've done it! Yeah! You've you've been when we've been doing the solo hunts, you've been killing things faster than me, and I killed Monoblos faster, which feels good. I'm coming for you, Monoblos! Just you wait! Just you wait! I'm on my way! I'm gonna kill you! I'll One get there in a second! Just time. give me a moment! I'm so close! Just give me five seconds! You're get getting there. I gotta conserve energy, God, and I can't be wasting my leg stamina. I, I need arm you. stamina. Remind me of the greatest human invention of all time, the Travelator. It's impressive. I wish those were just in houses, you know? Just everywhere. Like, why do we have to walk at any point? Oh! It's my tail now, boy. Oh! Oh, nice. And that is one beaten, battered, and bruised monobloss. Oh, oh god, I'm just leaving because I'm on the sand slope in the, in the <laughs> death cut scene. I don't need items. Oh, it'd be funny if it carried the body off so you had limited time to carve it. A Dundorma, revived, reborn, repaired, and ready to repel the night. But hark, what be that cry? Goddamn, no neck, McLancerson. Uh, yeah. uh. It just feels like maybe we should untie the rope instead of using an axe when there's not an emergency. No, no that's ridiculous. Don't be insane. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. Rain. Dun dun. Oh my god! It's <laughs> Kishala Deor, but not quite. <laughs> I love the slow mo! They're in love! And he looks at me, and I look at him, and he looks at me. And that's, kids, is how I met your mother. That explains a lot of our biology, father. When I bumped into that mother, I thought the jig was up. What was it? Was he a copper bloss? I've got you! Finally, Master Defense! You're <laughs> finally not going to escape this time! Also, I'm pretty sure the objective that they gave us was just to distract the Monoblos, and we just just fully killed it. He is a man worthy of great respect. After all, he taught me everything I know. Does he Wait, know you well, got well, your ass thought... kicked by a low rank Gormagala? He said that, he, first he said his immenseness was his mentor. Now he said that this guy was his mentor, and I was like, okay, you can have two mentors, I guess. It's a bit, it's a bit much, but you know, make... But this guy taught him everything he knows? Then what did his immenseness do? Nothing. It got wires crossed with his with his immenseness. Oh, I'm aware of his lore. <laughs> oh, trust me. I know every detail of that massive Wyvarian. <laughs> I didn't mention headlocks just for fun. You would meet a more trustworthy hunter. Or a better, uh, a better... Mutter, mutter, friend. Oh, Julius. That's, that's, just, that's just wrong. I barely know you. Oh, he's, he's so... Jundera. I tried my best, okay? I don't know what that means. I combined Julius and Sundera 
together to get Jundera. That is not how you pronounce that word. It took me a moment to realize what you were saying. It is you know, pronounce the T in to Sundari. To Sundari. 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 <laughs> you don't, but you said it about seven different ways in the All right, enlighten anything. me, oh master of, of anime. I don't I don't know exactly how that's pronounced. I know it's not Sunderer. <laughs> God, this character is so Sunderer! <laughs> Sir, please, decorum. Sir, please, the decor. It's ghastly. Sir, we need we need more decor. We're repairing this place, but we need it to look good too. Sir, please, let me get the hunter on this. He's good at doing this. It's time for Pimp My Dundorma. Yo, 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 welcome to Dundorma. We got 8,000 steps. Crisp chiseled stone. So, did you ever watch Pimp My Ride? That was even dumb. I, I'm aware of the concept. I did not watch it. God, they used to do stuff like, yeah, we put like six inch flat screen TVs on the bumpers of this car. And it's like, why? Why have you done that? You don't need, what's well, so dumb? Why? Take them off. That way you can permanently play your favorite show for the people behind you in traffic. Oh, to be fair, that's what Caravan with a capital C has been doing to his bloody whale this entire time. Oh, yeah. He's been working on it one step at a time. Now it can fly. Now it can fly. Like, if that was the result, if it was like flying car ships, then maybe it would be more appealing. We've pimped your ride. Now it's a boat. It's not, it doesn't function as a car anymore, but it works in the water. <laughs> But I need that for my morning commute. Well, now you can commute by sea. Yes, I hope your work is river adjacent, good friend. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about the other dragon. I hear we'll be dealing with a Kushaladora. It had a scar across its face. Dun, dun, dun. That means it's seen battle in the past. No dragon is a natural threat, and humankind lacks the power to stop nature from doing what it will. Disagree, hunters kill dragon. Look at this point in this story, okay? The uh, elder dragon. Killing Hunter is like a, a generational talent. Haven't we already done that with Shagaru? Look, man, what do you want from me, okay? Fine work taking down that monoblos. <laughs> well, you know. I hear it was the monster that started monster hunting to begin with. It uh, threatens the whole world when it appears. That's what people say. Well, it uh, 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 is routinely understood. A monster is camping out on the roof. A monster is enjoying its regularly scheduled time off. One option, you can kill a monster. The other option... Just, you know, bring a powder stone to blast away some Just ice. blow it up. Just blow it the hell up. You could do both if you want, really. I feel two requests of the guild, ma'am. Hide and freak. And take a powder stone. Look, we have choose your own adventure. Isn't that crazy? I feel like the powder stone would also have a monster and be a problem. All right, Cutter, the choice is yours. Do you want to hide and freak or do you want to blow something up? I mean, generally, I like killing monsters more than I like carrying powder stones, especially by myself. I think I want to kill something. It paralyzed me, then walked over while I was paralyzed, and just slowly did the pin attack. How did a Kezu par- Oh, yeah, lightning. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> paralysis, yeah. <laughs> Kezu's not a paralysis-inducing creature, you fool. Disagree. He's a happy, smiling friend to all. Also disagree. I don't know, I've kind of missed Kezu, if I'm honest, man. How have you missed him? He's been in- <laughs> He's been in frequent games. He's in the current Monster Hunter game. He's <laughs> He's been in frequent well, caves instead of he's been in all the Monster Hunter games. Well, he's not been in all of them. I, I I had to remember World for a moment there. Oh, God, I've been paralyzed. Yeah, I've been there. Oh, is he going to do to you what he did to me now? Yeah, he's, gonna, he's going for the grab, but I got out of it in time. Oh, okay. Oh, no! He got me anyway because I was drinking a oh, potion. No. He just carried on going for it. Why, why, well, yeah, why would he just drink a potion in the exact place you were paralyzed? No, I did it. I moved and then did it. And then he just adjusted and did it anyway. You just realized that there was still a chance. Yeah. I feel really... Oh, God. Oh, oh yeah. I feel so good. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, at least you're enjoying it. I'm sure he is, too. It's very nice in there, man. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Oh, the classic. Missed that too. <laughs> everyone likes a good bit of sensual kezu. I don't know about everyone. Don't don't get ahead of yourself. Everyone right? likes a good bit of sensual kezu. You know what? I'm chasing you down. Come back here. Come back here. No. Oh, oh, he left. Aww. It's quite hard to climb as effectively as a kezu do. Monsters are really too sensitive when you're on their back. Well, so it's their weak spot. Like you can't towards one spike that you attack. <laughs> Oh, I got paralyzed trying to control Glorp. You can't control Glorp, man. He's his own free bug. And I respect that, but I also want him to do uh, certain extracts at certain times. There's just certain times where specific extracts are extra useful. Like orange, when I have red and white already. <laughs> and that, to be fair, is the only time <laughs> that orange is the most useful extract. This guy really needs to just accept that he's dead. 
Mine went from, ow, oh, you hit me. I'm so mad right now. Oh, God, no. Oh, I'm limping. Oh, please. Oh, I'm dead. In the space of about six seconds. We've all been there. You'll never guess what's going on here. Giant monoblows? Giant monoblows. The sun ship looks so happy, by the way, from the front with his little dragonator face. I'm having a good time. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, the time's bad now. It is weird that you have, like, this slight variation Darren Moran intro for when you do him again. Weird that we don't make any noises when things happen. Well, we're very calm and collected, ready to hunt. Fire the dragonator. Fire the dragonator. We don't do that yet. That would have been perfect timing. Why did no one listen to me? Because we're the only two people on the ship, Cotton. Well, then we should have done but it. But this ain't no regular Darren Moran. This is... High rank, Darren this Moran. This is 35 so. minutes left, Darren Moran. Ooh, how about them? Some ballista to the jaw. Anyway, maybe I'll do ballista to the horn, break it off, you know? Hmm, how about well, that? I'm gen I generally aim for the eye, so, you know, whatever. Why are you still on that? The poor thing. I thought you'd do you it. It's just the correct place. Oh, 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 go. Oh, oh. Now, jump on his arm. I don't have the choice. Quick, rescue my hat. But you don't have a hat. I know, because it needs rescuing, man. That's what I'm saying. You've never had a hat. But I'm hoping to acquire one from this escapade. There isn't just a hat on him at all times. How do you know unless we try? Worm! Cotton. That's a cool sound. Why is the symbol... I've never looked at this before. Why is the symbol of the sleep someone facing forward on their knees? That is not that's a called a, that, That's called assuming the position. Yeah, that's not a that's not sleep. Also, their chest is very pointy. <laughs> yeah, their chest is very pointy. What, what is Why this? is that the sleep symbol? How have I never noticed that properly? At least the bed has a separated mattress <laughs> in the middle. Why is the default sleep in Monster Hunter assuming the position? Prepare for fuck. Trust me, you'll get full health afterwards. You might even gain a new hunter in your party. <laughs> I feel like they need to add some sort of wind passing effects near us to make it look like the ship is moving and not like the desert is just moving past us. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. How do you think this fight would play in Modern Monster Hunter? I mean, I guess with Wirebugs, you could just hop over to him at any point, which would be quite fun. Yeah, I feel like it would be extremely different. And yeah. It should be. Like, I really do hope we get a siege fight in 6, like, updated. With well, classic, I mean, I feel you know? like we will. I feel like it was an anomaly that we didn't in Rise and Sunbreak, and it still weirds me out. Yeah, like, I guess the strange, Rampage are sort of close, but they're no... not they're not the same thing. Yeah, I guess Rampage did kind of fatigue could, on that. You could style. argue you could argue that like Amatsu and Narwa with like their their various like encampments that are part of the fight are sort of like that, but they're not siege fights in the typical sense. Did we just perfectly swap this ballista without communicating? I binded him and then saw you walk over, so it's time for cannons. <laughs> And yeah, but I guess they're not just because it involves siege weaponry doesn't make it a siege hunt. I think. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Is it's not the same thing. Entering the final showdown. All right, Cotton. No, no, you know how this goes. Yep. Come back. Okay. What do you want? Okay. All right, Cotton. Attack! All right, Glorp. Attack! Glorp didn't make it. It's understandable. I'm just sort of slicing through his underbelly. You knocked him over. Go, go, go! Carve his his throat. Go carve his throat. Yes, sir. Give me what's in here. Do it. Carve his throat! Monster, monster, I got his guts? <laughs> I pulled his guts out, man! Monster guts! <laughs> that's quite gnarly, if I'm honest with you. I agree, I'm gonna hit his insides now. Surely that's gotta be a ridiculous hit zone, right? The one thing I do like about the older school siege hunts is that the actual siege equipment does as much damage as a, an unoptimized player, so it feels actually worth using them. You can go up his arm! Even when you consider that, like, you have to agree it's more fun to hit them with the weapons. <laughs> No, I don't know. I quite like using the siege stuff. Yeah, it's cool, but it's very repetitive. Though I guess new siege weapons have more interesting stuff, and things like the piercing ammo probably does as much as an optimized player too. I am stunned, but still on top of him. You he's are, like, struggling he's to remove. The me. Okay, what, what just happened? He just like entered the ground with me on top <laughs> of him and just, just killed me. He entered the ground and then juggled you with bolt. Like what? That's so that, funny. I mean, that's a way to die, I guess. Oh, I won't let me use the cannon facing Valava. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I just want to deliver this present. Yeah, Come on. the bar look really tiny. Quickly, get in his mouth. It's not like it's safe to. I just, I just think it'd be funny. Use Glop. Glop's going. Go, Glop, go. Yes. Oh my God. Yes! <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> Who needs dragonators when you 
have the consectinator. <laughs> How good is that? That's great. High five. <laughs> Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, that's some more Dundama Dundormed and Jen Moran Stormed. Yeah. He's dead. Next time what we was begin our battle to be G-Rank Hunters. And let me be clear, we are in for a treat. Shit, man, why are you transparent? <laughs> Oh, it's about to be one of the most single requested pro and noob adventures of all time. So hold on to your hats, grab the edge of your seats, and basically, it's gonna be neat. It's gonna be Cephadrome. <laughs> yeah! Woo! <laughs> like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the bell for more. Consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good Bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.